Hello, I'm Simon Whistler. You're watching the Today I Found Our YouTube channel, and in the video today, we're looking at whether eating turkey makes you drowsy. Now, contrary to what you'll often hear, turkey does not actually make you drowsy after you eat it. Now, to be clear, turkey does contain tryptophan. Tryptophan is an amino acid which the human body doesn't naturally produce, but it is essential in proper body function and thus must be acquired from food. The reason tryptophan is tied to drowsiness is that it is used by your body to create serotonin. Serotonin, among other things, acts as a calming agent in the brain and plays a key role in sleep. So, with turkey containing tryptophan, one could logically say it would make you sleep sleepy after you eat it, except that this isn't actually the case at all. So why not? Primarily because of how we eat turkey, and more importantly, how the body deals with tryptophan. If you tend to eat turkey on a completely empty stomach, and don't get anything else but a little turkey, then there is a very small chance that tryptophan in the turkey will make you a little drowsy right after you eat it. Add it to a sandwich, or have it with some mashed potatoes, or really pretty much any other food eaten at the same time, or just eat it on a non-empty stomach, and it won't be the turkey that is making you drowsy if you feel drowsy after you eat it. It turns out tryptophan needs to not only be taken on an empty stomach to have any instant effect, but also with little to no other amino acids or protein present in order to make you feel drowsy after you eat something that contains it. Given that there is a lot of protein in turkey and other amino acids, even if you are a bit malnourished, you are not likely to get drowsy from the tryptophan after you eat turkey, though it will increase your body's store of the tryptophan. Fan. What's going on here is that when there are lots of amino acids around, this causes competition among the amino acids as far as crossing the blood-brain barrier. Tryptophan is a particularly bulky amino acid, so it ends up being at the back of the line, so to speak, and will generally stay there until those other amino acids are gone, or at the least until quite a lot of them are gone, so the ratio of tryptophan to those other amino acids is drastically increased. So why do you get drowsy after, say, eating turkey on Thanksgiving or the like. Well, there are a lot of reasons, but primarily because with your holiday meal, you likely just crammed a couple of days worth of food into your body in the span of an hour or so, possibly with some alcohol, which is a central nervous system depressant that has a mild sedative effect. Also, with a full stomach, your body directs blood away from your central nervous system and other organ systems to help your digestive system. More than anything, this is probably causing most of the drowsiness after a large turkey dinner, such as on Thanksgiving or Christmas or the like. Now, there is typically always a nice store of tryptophan in your body at any given time due to the fact that it's not only prevalent in turkey, but also higher levels than in turkey per ounce can be found in chicken, beef, pork, cheese, chicken eggs, which contain nearly four times as much tryptophan per ounce over turkey, sunflower seeds, and many types of fish. It is also found in lesser or similar amounts as in turkey in milk, beans, sesame seeds, lamb, wheat flour, chocolate, white rice, oatmeal, potatoes, and bananas, among lots of other foods. So your body is usually stocked full of tryptophan most of the time, and eating some turkey isn't going to significantly change your body's store. If you do want to point to specific foods that can make you drowsy, these would be things high in carbohydrates such as pasta, mashed potatoes, breads, and the like. These result in the release of insulin, which in turn results in certain amino acids being more or less swept out of your blood and absorbed into your muscle cells. This gives the usually ample store of tryptophan hanging out in your body a better shot at crossing the blood-brain barrier and raising your serotonin levels. So I really hope you enjoyed that video. I know that eating a lot of turkey can make you feel drowsy, but apparently it's all to do with the alcohol and other food. If you did like this video, please do click like below. It really helps out. And subscribe to our channel for brand new content just like this five days a week. There is a subscribe button below me now. A couple of other videos you'll probably like if you like this one over on the right but I know if you are on a mobile device, you cannot click on anything on the screen now. So in the description, you will find links to everything. And thank you for watching.